Hey B Squad, welcome back to my channel, Chrissy B Vlogs. Today is Sunday, April 21st, I believe. Yep, it's the 21st and it is Easter, hence the pink attire and the pink makeup, pink nails. I was trying to be a little festive. I usually like to stick to my blacks and olive greens and just very dark colors, but since it was Easter, I figured I should probably do it up a little bit. Um, today is a weigh-in because it's Sunday. And I think this is my seventh weigh-in. When I was looking at my weigh-ins, I was kind of like maybe my starting weigh-in should have just been the start weigh-in instead of week one. But... I mean, that's neither here nor there. I can't change it now. But anyways, this is my seventh weigh-in. And this week and next week are particularly difficult weeks for me as far as dieting and weight loss goes. So this week that I've done and then next week, my goal for those weeks is to not binge, to eat relatively healthy, and to not gain. I'm not hoping for a huge weight loss, but I'm just hoping to not gain and to not binge. So to explain that a little bit, um, this week is my 10 year old niece's birthday party, well, birthday. And so since we're celebrating her birthday next weekend, she got to do something special for her birthday. We took her out to dinner. She got to get her special Dutch Bros coffee and just, we had a day with her. Um, on her birthday because it was the 18th of April and then this weekend is Easter plus this whole week was like Easter activities and then next week is going to be her birthday celebration and birthday party and I've kind of decided this go around for my weight loss journey I'm not going to tell myself that I can't participate in events that involve foods um, that aren't necessarily low calorie or healthy for me um, I'm going to go ahead and participate in those events, and when those events do arise, my goal is to just not pack on a bunch of weight and to not binge. So this week I have not binged, which has been fabulous, and I feel like this week has gone pretty well as far as like my goals for myself. As you'll see on the scale, I didn't lose a pound this week, but I also didn't gain, so stay tuned for that weigh-in. Um, I didn't eat super crazy and I didn't binge. I just had more junk than I normally would. So um, on her birthday, her, one of her favorite places to eat is Arby's. So we took her out to Arby's and we ate there. So that wasn't great for me. Um, I think once this week we went out for frozen yogurt and we've just had like treats and candies from like Easter outings and things like that. So um, yeah. Anyways, I did not gain this week, so that's great. And I will go ahead and insert my weigh-in clip right here. guys enjoyed that weigh-in clip now that that is done and over with and we saw that I lost so from last week I weighed um three sixteen point five and then this week I weigh three sixteen point four so I really didn't lose anything like 0.1 pound went down but like I said I'm just really happy that that didn't turn into a gain or to binging because like I said we did go out a lot this week and we did have a lot of treats because of my niece's birthday and just things surrounding the holiday like activities and things like that so without further ado I wanted to give you guys an update on the lady boss lean shake um, I have a video where I talked about this. It's an all-in-one nutritional supplement. It's got tons of vitamins and it's very low calorie and it's supposed to taste amazing. The flavor is vanilla cake. So as I said before, the main reason why I got this shake is because it's low calorie. It has a lot of nutrition. It's made specifically for women and then it also has... Um, 
a diet has digestive enzymes and that's really important for me because I have my gallbladder out and ever since having my baby having my gallbladder out my digestion has just been pretty awful like yeah some days I'm like oh things are getting better because like for a week things will be going let's say smoothly and um, I'll be like oh yeah everything's getting better my body's adjusting and then a few days after that everything goes to hell again so I got this because of you know the nutrition and a big thing is the digestive enzyme without having to take extra pills I'm really bad at trying to remember pills so the reason why I'm bringing Lady Boss Lean back up is because I have finally tried the shake and I've tried it in a couple different ways I've tried it by itself with um, unsweetened vanilla almond milk I've tried it just in water, and I've tried it in oatmeal, and I've tried it in, um, kind of just blended up with some ice and peanut butter and cocoa powder, and I think that's it. So just kind of like a peanut butter, chocolate, vanilla shake type mixture. I will say this is one of the few protein powders that I do enjoy. Um, like I stated in my last video, I really, really, really just, I have an issue with protein powder, nutritional shakes, things like that. I'm, most of them I think taste pretty awful. I'm extremely picky, but this one's pretty good. Um, I had a few questions about it. The one main question that I got from quite a few people on comments and in messages is like, what, like, how does it taste? Does it have an artificial taste? Is there an aftertaste? I will say that it does taste like a sweet vanilla cake. Pretty good. It's not thick, which I love. It's not grainy, um, but it does taste slightly artificial. The aftertaste isn't too bad. I personally didn't mind it. It is a little artificial, kind of like artificial sweetener type taste. Um, and then Andrew, my significant other, had mentioned that he thinks there's a slight aftertaste to it as well. However, with that being said, I'm extremely picky, like I said, about protein powders, things like that, and this is something I could actually incorporate on a daily basis. I could even push it as far as a couple times a day if I wanted to. Um, the only downfall for this product is it is a little spendy. I'm kind of like a budget queen. Um, I don't shop a lot. I don't like to spend a ton of money unless it's on the kids and then I spend too much money. But for this, um, let me remind myself, there is, so one scoop is a serving size and then there are 30 scoops per container. One scoop gets you like 25% of all the vitamins that you need for the day. And so basically for 30 servings, this is like $50. So that's the one thing I would say I don't particularly love about it is it's just, it's kind of expensive, but I went to G, GNC is what I called, not GMC, the car dealership, but GNC. I went there to pick up a cu couple other protein powders because I'm just trying to test stuff out and see what will work with me. And it definitely is in a pretty normal price range for what it is. I picked up, um, I think it's called Lean shake it's like gnc brand lean shake it's in my vlog from last week i believe and i don't mind the chocolate one that's the one i've tried i picked up chocolate and pumpkin and i'll do a review on those two once i've tried them a few more times the chocolate wasn't too bad but i think i need to play with it a little bit to see if it's something that i would actually be able to use on a regular basis so anyways today is Easter Sunday and I was really happy that I had the time to jump on here and say hi and get my way in into you guys and answer your questions about the Lady Boss Lean and also give you a little review about Lady Boss Lean. Um, if you want to purchase Lady Boss Lean, there's a website, ladybosslean.com. If you guys have any questions about the purchasing process, you can ask me. However, this video is not sponsored. This video is just, I bought it with my own money, I wanted to try it, and I have a lot of friends who are the same way about protein powders, and they can't find ones that they quite quite like and enjoy, so they buy them and they waste them like I do, and I figured you guys might have the same struggle, so I'd let you know what I thought about the product. 
Uh, anyways, I think that's all for today. I want to say thank you so much for following my journey and supporting me. You guys are literally the sweetest people. Like, <laughs> I've met a lot of very unkind people in my life. I would say more so unkind people than nice people. And I am just so blessed and so happy that most of the people that follow me are extremely kind and supportive and helpful. And I know some of you guys are on your own journeys. And so I wish you all the best of luck. And if you're new to my channel, if this is the first time you're viewing my video, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me comments. I am always open to constructive criticism or, you know, if you have questions, let me know. Anyways, I hope you guys have a beautiful Easter Sunday, and I will talk to you again soon.